Hey guys, today we're going to be working with uh, texture atlases and textures. Uh, it's kind of a confusing topic, or not so much confusing, but hard to remember. Um, but we're going to go ahead with it anyway. Basically, it lets you create a, an animation where it switches out images on an interval. Um, and then you can run that continuously so that you get, like, you could make somebody walk or something like that. But in this case, we're going to make a parrot that's flying. I'll put these images in the description. Um, and one thing you have to do to pre prepare the images is put them in a folder called parrot.atlas. You can call it anything you want. It could be walk.atlas for somebody walking or whatever. Um, but you have to make the folder say .atlas at the end because it's going to be referenced later. Okay, so just drag that in there and then click finish it'll import it and then we've got our images here okay so go to our game view I'm gonna get rid of all this old stuff because we are done with it bye 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 and goodbye got a very blank file okay so First thing we're going to do is create a um, sprite node, and it's going to be called parrot. SK sprite node parrot. Sprite node. What's texture? Okay, so that's not the first thing we're going to do. Just ignore that line for now. That's the errors are annoying. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is create three, or is going to is that we're going to create an atlas. So we're going to make a texture atlas, sk texture atlas, atlas is equal to um, sk texture atlas, atlas named at parrot, and this is where that folder name comes in. It has to be the same name, parrot dot atlas. Okay. If this was different, it wouldn't work. So, then we create a texture. Uh, parrot one. The texture is basically an image that loads efficiently. Whoa, I misspelled that. Atlas texture named and the name of the um, parrot. Okay, and you don't have to say the folder name, it just knows. Um, this is what a texture looks like, SK texture, and then the name of the atlas, and then the texture name. And then we'll take that, copy it twice, change those names. Okay, and we've got warnings since they're not being used, but no matter. We shall use them. Um, we will start this out with a texture of parrot one because it needs to have a default texture for whatever reason. And then we will give it a position. Parrot. Ah, dot position is equal to cg point make self dot frame we're going to center it on the screen uh, self dot frame dot size dot width divided by two self dot frame dot size dot height divided by two okay and then we're going to make um, an array of our textures And then an S array here. Um, parrot one, parrot two, parrot three. Now we have all of our textures in one place. And now we're going to use that variable. We'll create an action called flight. SK action animate with textures and then the list of textures that you want to animate with 
and then the rate that you want to animate at. And we're going to do <clears throat> every 20th of a second. It'll change the frame. I tested it beforehand, and that was like a rate that looks good. SK action. <clears throat> repeat. And we're going to make this little flight thing repeat infinitely. Um, so we got to go... Action, repeat, action forever, flight. And now we need to, um, add, we need to run that action, repeat. And then we need to add the atlas to the, or we need to add the parrot to the screen. Self, add child, parrot. Okay, so what we got here, go over the code once is an atlas, which is um, basically a set of images. And then we create textures within the atlas. Um, this is our atlas here. And then we uh, we create a parrot node from that first texture, a parrot sprite node. And then we set it to the center of the screen. And then we put all of our textures in an array. We can move this up there so it makes a little bit more sense. And then we create a flight action which runs, which loops through the textures once. And then we create a repeat function, repeat function to run that um, forever. And then we run the action and add the child. Let's give that a go. See what it looks like. Hey, we got a parrot flapping. And you can mess with the speed if you want. Slow it down a little bit. Alright. So that's how you make an animation in the sprite node. Pretty simple. Just a lot of text. Um, and, uh, yeah. I, if you ever forget it, you can just come back and look at the video or write it down somewhere so that you don't forget. But it's pretty hard to find by just searching on the internet. Um, yeah. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.